Okay guys, so this is almost the moment of truth. If you've been following me, I have been working diligently with the limited hours that I have um, in the daylight after work and on the weekend. <sighs> Let me make a quick review for you. Basically, the engine here is not the original engine and the original engine sucked in water hydro locked and so it broke and this is the reason why we're here today um, basically this is a new engine I bought from eBay I put it in found out that the head this head right here is bad so I called the seller on eBay oh message them um, and they said they would reimburse me if I take the head in to get it repaired and rebuilt that's what I did and so I reinstalled the new rebuilt head onto the engine here so I've been working on installing everything and making sure that everything goes in correctly so now I've installed everything except for that hose right there and tightening that fuel line I've charged the battery over there and so reset the timing I did everything and it's ready to be uh, to to start but it doesn't have the battery here so I'm gonna hook up the battery and I'm gonna uh, install I'm, I'm gonna start it as a test run so you can see here there's no fan there's no serpentine belt the reason is because I want to make sure that this thing is running without noises okay so the the, the least um, pulley running the more chance that I can hear what's going on with the engine and that's what I'm doing so I'm gonna install the battery fix that little line right there tighten the fuel rail and it should be good and uh, well well we'll see what happens let me do those all those and then um, we'll go on from there Okay guys, so everything is tightened down, water is in, uh, in the radiator, and now I am going to install the uh, battery, and then we're going to crank it up. Okay, so I am ready to start guys. Uh, now, just keep in mind, uh, the serpentine belt is not hooked on, right? So there's no other pulley running, the fan is not installed. So it's just the engine by itself. Okay. I'm kind of nervous. Okay, I'm gonna double check this, make sure everything is in place. It is. Okay, so let's start.
it off. Okay, so the uh, the fan belt is installed, is installed, except for the uh, fan shroud. So Let's go check out the temperature. It's been running about 10 minutes now. Temperature is normal. Okay, YouTube. So this is the other guy. As you have been following me, I got my engine installed. And as you can see here, it's um, installed nicely and it runs but the engine sucks and I feel that um, people are just not honest in their business dealing with customers online uh, I bought my engine from eBay from a junkyard uh, by the name of Rasco Parts, R A S C O P A R T. So, anyway, this is what's happening, guys. When I first installed the engine, um, there was a lot of knocking. I opened up the the valve, the uh, camshaft cover right here, and found that the camshaft was wobbling up and down. And so, you know, being a person who trusts in humanity, I contacted Rascal Parts and they said, you know, we can either refund you the whole engine or you can have the head rebuilt and we'll refund you that portion, 500 bucks. So I said, okay, you know, being that I was, uh, being that I thought I could trust in um, humanity, I thought that they, uh, would be truthful and honest with me. They supposedly refunded me 500 bucks, but you know what? It, they have a processing fee. They capped a portion of my money. Um, that was an honest business. That was not an honest business. I didn't get my full $500 um, refund. And I was pretty ticked at that. Um, I got the thing rebuilt, the head rebuilt, installed it, as you have seen it in my past video. And I ran it without the serpentine belt, ho hoping that uh, I could hear any um, abnormal knock coming from the engine, which I did. The engine knocked. Um, my experience with fixing cars I've been doing this since I was 14 guys I've been fixing cars since I was 14 my experience with that knock is a rod knock and I can tell you that the rod knock is from coming from underneath the uh, the engine if you crawl underneath the car that's where the knock, the knock is and uh, so 
I contacted them. Um, I do this part time. It's it's a hobby, and uh, I don't trust mechanic because I am my own mechanic. And so yeah, I uh, when I had the head um, warranted that was not at the 38 the, the 30 days warranty period however now that I installed it it's past the 30 day warranty period so I contacted them and they said you know what no warranty 30 days over you, no warranty good luck good luck so here I have an awfully bad engine it knocks at a cold start if you park it for like an hour or so you start it it knocks it's been sitting overnight okay see it, it it's it's warm I mean it's not warm I'm sorry it's cold <clears throat> I can put my finger in here okay to show you that it's not hot it's cold okay this is the radiator okay that's to, just to prove to you that it's cold and so I'm going to show you how bad the knock is. Okay. Rascal Parts, you did me wrong, man. You sold me a dud engine. A bad one. If you were honest, you would have told me from the start that this engine had a knock. I bet you when this engine came into the junk uh, into your junkyard, you you fired it up and it was knocking. And you sold it as like it was a good running engine. I paid 1700 bucks for it. And uh, I'm not really happy with your service. I don't trust you. I'm stuck with a bad engine. And, and you sold me this engine knowing that it's bad. I'm going to show you how bad it is, guys. As you can see, I have not stopped my camera. And uh, here, I'm gonna start it. You can hear the knock. Yeah. Can you hear that? The knock is coming from underneath here. Okay. This is a precursor to a bad engine. Well, it's already bad. It's a precursor to a worsening knock. Okay. okay. Here, I'll crawl underneath and. Let's see. All right. This is the oil pan right here. Okay. This is the oil pan, and it's coming from underneath here. Okay. It's coming from underneath here, and uh, okay. There we go. And it's just a bad knock. Okay. I check. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna do a different uh, camera angle. Okay. So. Okay. So coming from this angle, the knock is coming from right here. Okay. This is the oil pan. This is the oil pan uh, uh, bolt. When you unbolt this. Um, oil comes out okay and it is coming from within this area right here mm -hmm. right here okay and uh, you can feel the you can feel the vibration in front of underneath here and it's the beginning of a worsening rod stop it's already bad it's gonna, just gonna get worse like I said, I contacted them. I told them that they sold me a bad engine, and they said, "No, nope, no warranty. 
we refunded you a portion of it and you chose that way that route so past the 30 days no warranty so I'm one ticked off customer no thanks to Rasco parts and uh, I am just not happy guys so for some of you folks who've been asking me on YouTube how my engine is running you hear that yeah would you like to would you like to own this engine I think not would, would uh, Roscoe Parks would like to own this engine? I don't think so. So, this is a bad engine. Okay, so this is another view of the engine. And the noise, the knock, is coming from within the engine. And that's, that's a rod knock. It's just going to get worse. This is my brother, he's been fixing cars forever too. And he owns a shop. And he's, he has the same conclusion as I have. So, Roscoe Parts, no thanks to you. I would even tell my uh, subscribers, stay away from Roscoe Parts on eBay. They are not honest people. So anyway, that's that. Okay, to show you, uh -oh, to show you that my car is had a cold start. Look at this. That that's still warm. Uh, I mean, it's it's just warm. It's just warming uh, warming up. So cold start. That's how it sounds like. 